to Sacred Hoops by our old coach, Jeff Dvorak. Um, he was talking to Matthew Rama, who is the person who organized this Sacred Hoops team. So Dvorak talked to him at the Pine Ridge game against Dells at Winter. And he was talking to him about me, saying how he would love to, for me to play there with them. And then I was Dvorak's teacher assistant, and he told me about how he talked to him about me, saying he wanted me to play. And then I contacted Matt and said that I was interested in playing. And then we talked back and forth, talked to the coach, and then I just decided to play with them because I thought it would be a good opportunity. Different, but it was a lot of fun because I was able to score more, um, do things more for me, and not like rely on like other teammates, I guess, because I had chances to work on stuff for me individually and then also like play with the team too. Um, just like knowing that I was offered to play with an all native team was really big because apparently that this team was like the best like natives in South Dakota and knowing that I had the chance to play with them was awesome. I got close with a lot of the girls like we're friends now and I don't know it's, it was like a good opportunity. Let's take away just the basketball aspect of it. Let's talk about the cultural aspect. What did you learn about your culture playing for the all native team? Um, well, during our practices, we would start off with saying like a prayer in Lakota, and we would stand in a cir circle, hold hands, and they would sing the like a Lakota song. And I had no idea what they were saying, but like the more and more like we practiced, and the more and more they did it, like I like I guess like grew into it, like because like I've never like learned Lakota, and like just listening to them like sing it like made me really interested in like the Lakota language. And we would also have sage and we would put it all over our body to like cleanse our body. So it was just really different and a lot of fun. Um, well, I've talked to some of them like what it's like cause obviously I'm from Del Rapids. Like it's not like living on the res or reservation. And like they said that it's a lot different because they don't have like I guess nicest homes as us and like they don't have like the same opportunities that we do and they said that it's tough because a lot of like violence happens and stuff like that so I guess I can't really relate to them but I can still like picture it in my head. I would say to go for it because even though we didn't win a lot of games or you might not, it's still like a good experience because coming from playing with all the Dells girls, like it was so different, but it was still really fun because I got to learn new things through our coach and learned a lot of other things from players. And when I first heard about Sacred Hoops, like the all native team, like knowing that this was gonna be their first like native team, um, I guess just to be more open to things, through basketball, like basketball has taught me so many things about like life, um, like communicating, like just stuff like that. And I guess it's a really good experience because it's taking me out of my comfort zone, making me make new friends and learn more about basketball itself. Well, we actually adopted a Raven at birth and we adopted her through um, Catholic Family Services and we had put our, our profile um, into you know a group of other um, adopted parents that are potential adopted parents and um, Raven's birth mom chose my husband and I um, to parent her. So it's, it's been uh, a, a, obviously a great blessing. You know, it, it was really important to give Raven some exposure to her culture because Obviously, growing up at Del Rapids, you know, it has been, you know, limited versus, you know, the players that Raven played with this summer that have, you know, grown up, grown up on, on reservations and been more, you know, active within their tribe. She didn't have the opportunity, per se, to do that. 
And so um, it was just a great learning opportunity for, for Raven and exposing her, um, you know, like she talked about, just in terms of the prayer that they do, you know, prior to um, starting their practices. And um, Amanda Carlo has been a great influence on Raven and, and a big supporter of her in terms of, you know, her basketball career in high school as well as, you know, after after high school, whatever, you know, opportunities may come. Um, she's been a, a great supporter of Raven. As It's just been a, a great program um, in terms of just seeing what, you know, Ellen Bertram has developed, you know, not only for kids East River, but especially West River that don't have the opportunities that we pretty much take for granted here. Um, you know, our kids growing up have always been able to participate in um, summer AAU type programs are actually year-round programs and so it was it was just a, a great learning opportunity for Raven from a cultural pr perspective. I know. You know at this point when you're when your child gets to be 17 any time that you get to spend together even if it's in a car you know traveling to practice is definitely time well spent um, from our from our perspective so we enjo we enjoyed knowing that was her last summer of, of playing in AAU basketball and, and being able to do some travel out, out for practices was you know enjoyable from our perspective and we definitely uh, appreciated the opportunity for, for Raven to play on, on that team. You know, it definitely was pushing Raven outside of her comfort zone and that was that's a good thing you know because obviously you're going to have lots of new experiences um, typically when, when Raven has played summer ball and on different AAU programs that's with kids that she or players that she knows um, with that are similar type of play and so this was this was very different for her and you know a great learning opportunity in terms of it was a very much more fast-paced type of game uh, and it was just from, from you know the kids that she was able to meet and the experiences that they were able to share with each other, I would definitely you know recommend Sacred Hoops. At first off, I want to I want to thank them for giving her the opportunity to do that. I mean, it certainly from our perspective allowed us to to you know the travel was easy to do because of the fact that you know she wasn't playing for you know tournaments this year, so that was that was a great opportunity. Um, you know, they went to some very competitive tournaments had some opportunity to play in front of you know some college coaches and get some college exposure and grow as a basketball player and grow as a person and if you can get that out of one summer it's it's a definite win